Hi, I'm Ashton. Um, I'm home alone at the moment, so I was like, I might as well record a video. I am a transgender man, if you weren't aware, and I'm also gay. <laughs> so let's talk about how those two things intersect, shall we? There are a lot of people that mistake gender and sexuality as, you know, very, very close things. And while they are related, they aren't the same. I am a boy, and I would be a boy whether I was born a boy, um, whether I liked men, women, both, all of the above, no matter what, I still identify as male. And if I identified as female, I would still like boys. I am pansexual, which means I like people regardless of gender, but currently I am dating a boy, and I do tend to lean towards boys. Um, I like boys. I'm gay. So yeah, I do, um, I do fall in love regardless of gender, but I tend to appreciate boys more. But a lot of people do mistake the two and switch them around. Um, I've been asked many a time, why wouldn't you just be a straight girl? <laughs> like, wouldn't it be easier to just be a straight girl? Why are you trans if you could just be a straight girl? Um, I'm trans, regardless of my sexuality. I can't just choose not to be trans. Like, if I could choose, I wouldn't put myself in this position, right? It's not that hard to understand, I don't think. Um, the two are just separate. I would be one way if I weren't the other, and vice versa. And frankly, I am kind of tired of people telling me, oh, you are basically a straight girl because no, I'm the complete opposite. Um, just because I don't pass all the time just yet, you know, my testosterone, I've been on it for two months, but it's, st you know, I, I'm still not completely cis passing or male passing at all. While I may seem so on the internet, I do have hips. I, <laughs> I have them, th th I have thighs. I got the higher voice, just feminine features in general, no matter how hard I try to present as a mask man. I'm tired of people assuming that I'm straight because I'm trans, and I'm tired of people assuming that I'm not actually trans, I'm just a girl that is straight and wants to be something else. There's a big deal um, with people fetishizing male, male, like, gay relationships, and I'm really uncomfortable with that. People that, you know, um, see two guys and straight girls especially, if you're a straight girl, I'm sorry, I'm not calling you out. <laughs> it's just that a lot of straight girls will, you know, ship to real life people and I'm fine with that as long as they're respectful and don't push it in those people's faces. A lot of straight girls will be like, oh, gay guys, so cute, I love gay guys, my gay best friend. Um, I ship it, OTP, and write, you know, smutty fanfics. Um, and if you want to do that, go on and do it on your own, but don't fetishize gay men. We are not, you know, a fetish. We exist and... So a lot of people that think along that same train um, think that gay trans men are actually girls fetishizing male-male relationships and no, we're not. We are males. We are in those male-male relationships, you know. Um, I'm dating a boy right now. I'm his boyfriend. He's my boyfriend. We're just gay, the same as you know, he's cis, but if I were cis, it would be the same as it is now. There's no, oh, but you're a trans guy, so you're not like an actual guy, you're really a girl. No, that, mm -mm, mm -mm. So that's what I wanted to talk about today because it's been bothering me recently and a lot. Um, One of the first things that people will say when I come out is, you know, but aren't you dating a guy? Are you gay? Funny story, actually, one of the last like place, like, like community kind of things I came out in was my music school place and there's a language barrier between me and the lady that owns the place so when I came out as trans um she was like but don't you have a boyfriend and I was like well yeah she was like so he's your girlfriend now uh no 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 sweet that's not mm -mm. he's still my boyfriend uh I am a boy dating a boy and there's nothing wrong with that, there's nothing abnormal about that. But she thought because I'm a trans boy, it means I'm automatically straight, which it doesn't. And I don't think we should really assume anyone's sexuality. We shouldn't be like, oh, you're a girl, you must like guys, you know, forcing that on kids is 
not cool. Like, you know, there are parents that are like, oh, my four-year-old is such a ladies' man. I don't like that. I don't know. So I've been with my boyfriend for a year and a month now-ish, approximately. And we have like a really healthy, good relationship. But a lot of people do see it as weird because I'm a trans guy and he's a cis guy we're often seen as something, you know, to be gawked at, and we're not, we're just... <sighs> um, public PDA is something that's like a big issue because, you know, if I'm read as female, then no one will question it, but when I'm read as female, I'm often read as a butch lesbian, so when I'm, you know, holding my boyfriend's hand in public, it's like, oh, <laughs> what is that? And if I'm read as male, then there's the issue of homophobia. So either way, there's like either transphobia or homophobia. What are, what are, which is worse? I don't, I can't tell. And for those that know I'm trans and they see me with my boyfriend holding hands or cuddling or hugging or anything a couple would do, it's weird when they look at us because um, I know that many people don't see me as fully male. They see me as something less than a boy because I wasn't, you know, assigned male at birth. I guess what I'm trying to say here is when you are trans and not straight, um, I would say it's a bit more difficult than being trans and straight. Although if you're trans and straight, you may be read as a gay couple, which can bring a whole bunch of new issues. You know, just being trans is hard. Being trans and dating is really tough. I am very lucky to have the boy that I do. He's extremely talented and amazing and I love him very much. What inspired this video was something that happened the other night. So he is a actor, singer, dancer, and he was in the high school musical and I went to see it twice because it was so good and mm, he's very talented. He has a lovely voice. But after closing night of the musical, which was last night actually, um, you know, of course, all the actors go to the front and everyone can meet them, donate to the theater department, whatever. Um, so of course I go straight to my boy and to hug him and I bought him some flowers, so I gave him these um, pink, orange, white, red bouquet, and um, it was cute, he was blushing, but his mom also gave him flowers, and eventually, there were still a lot of people outside, mind you, um, he shoved the flowers both into his mom's hands, and he just grabbed me and full-on kissed me in public, which is really cute. I am fine with PDA, it's just the people around us when we indulge in PDA that is scary. Um, and there were people all around us, you know, it's the outside of a theater, people are walking by trying to talk to him and he's just, you know, embracing his boyfriend and full on kissing him, um, me. <laughs> it was really sweet and I couldn't stop blushing, but I feel like in the theater environment, there are a lot of queer people in theater and literally the entire cast of that production was queer in some way, which is really cool and it also made us feel safe. But you know, the audience of the theater isn't always like that. Um, there were older people that, you know, passed after that happened and they just talked to Jack and it was kind of awkward because I was standing there and they were just like, what is that? I had my leather jacket on at the time and I don't think I've worn it in a video, but it has a pronoun pin he, him. So they, you know, they knew, they saw, like, oh, that is a boy, even if they thought, you know, oh, that is a, a trans, tr the one of the transgender, one of the trained, gendering's one of those. I was still read as male, and when you're a boy that kisses a boy in public, it's scary. And it shouldn't be. What I'm trying to say is it shouldn't be. I shouldn't be concerned about how people read me. I shouldn't be concerned about how people see me and my boyfriend in public, but I am. And it sucks that I can't do anything about it, but you know, it's something I am learning to deal with. And I'm not sure if it's internalized homophobia or if it's, I don't think it is. I think it's more of a being scared of the homophobia around. I'm homophobe phobic is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I don't wanna be called out in public for kissing my boyfriend. I don't wanna be, you know, seen as anything other than a normal couple when I'm with him. I think that's all I'm going to talk about. Um, I hope you enjoyed listening to me rant about being gay. <laughs> if you have similar issues, please let me know. I want, I need, I want to talk to other trans gays. That'd be cool. So yeah, let me know what you thought. 
and before I go, I have like a 16 minute video for this weekend. Um, it's related to my Tuesday video actually. Um, so look forward to that if you want, if you like hear my voice or if you like what, whatever, just look forward to it. I'm excited. Um, <laughs> so goodbye. I hope you have a stellar day, week, month, year. And I will talk to you later, maybe.